I mean, just get a better, better understanding with me, you know, personality-wise, um, my career, um, and just I, I still feel like I got a lot to give, so I'm gonna I'm I'm talk about that. I'm a very anxious person. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I never really settle. After games, I mean, people talk to me, say you had a good game. I never felt like I had a, a good game. I'm never really happy with results. They see me as a nonchalant type of person, but I've been through a lot in my career, and I feel like I have a lot to say. Not winning, it, it, it affects you in multiple ways. Not just basketball players, expect me as a person, I was colder. And that's the dark, that's a dark place where, you know, I really wasn't, I wasn't as, how do I say it? I wasn't as focused maybe at times. I had a conversation with myself. It was like, you know, you can't, you can't be like this anymore. You can't just, I mean, it doesn't help you at all. You know, people looking at you like, like you diminished good. So what I did was I tried to prove myself again and I was getting there. And that's what, I think that's what was so deflating about the injury because I was starting to play like myself again and starting to be myself. And it's just one play, you know, it happened. And, um, you know, I kind of broke down after that. Like at that point, I wasn't listening to nobody. People were telling me this, telling me that. Obviously I've been around Kobe a bunch of times, playing against him and stuff. I forgot he tore his Achilles. I'm like, oh yeah, he did kill the Let me holler at Kobe. I kept trying, like, to get like little stuff, like, like, what'd you do with your scar? He was like, yeah, fuck the scar. It's a war wound. Train like an asshole. That's actually the exact word he said. I said, will I be the same? He's like, no. He said, no, you won't be the same. But shit, that don't mean you ain't gonna be good. He's like, sometimes you, when you take something away from you, it makes you better at other things. That's one thing I took from him. Like, I don't think people understand how hard I trained on something. I wish this interview was watching me work out. <laughs> Because <laughs> sometimes I don't even think I can get through it. As far as my career, I just needed something new. Pop called me the night of the first, asked me how the, you know, the free agency process was going. You know, we just talked about it. He also said, he was like, uh, you know, I know a lot of teams want to offer you more money, but I don't think um, they'll offer you this opportunity. He said, I'll coach you. He said, I don't think you've ever been coached like, like I'm going to coach you. It's one of those things where you feel like you're a rookie. Like, you go in there, oh, just run this. And he forgets the fact that you haven't been there before. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just throwing in and, and like a deer in the headlights at times. So I'm like, man, I feel like, I honestly feel like I'm 19 years old again. And that was good. I needed that at that point. I'm trying not to feel old, so that's why I do, that's why I do it. So you see, man, I'm still moving good, man. If I could play like that, I'd play. But I want to feel like this until I want to be like Vince Carter. <laughs> How many good years throughout the game? Nine. <laughs> If I still feel good, why not?